Welcome back, and today we have an update from the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology regarding new guidance strongly discouraging women who are pregnant from using cannabis. Now, before you jump down into the comments section and completely destroy me for making a video about something that should seem pretty obvious maybe to a lot of people, please just hear me out. Now, if it was 20 years ago, I would completely agree that this should seem obvious that women who are pregnant should not smoke or consume marijuana. But times have changed. It's not 20 years ago and THC, cannabis, marijuana has become more accepted, more legal. But through this new research, the clinicians found that women who chose to use marijuana during pregnancy did so to help alleviate some of the common symptoms of pregnancy, nausea, vomiting, morning sickness. So they were using it as a medicine. It's not like they were just going out and smoking marijuana to get high. And they often did so because they felt that marijuana was a more natural or healthy alternative to some of the other drugs that they could be taking for the same symptoms. So the research further showed that between four and 16% of pregnant women used cannabis during their pregnancy. And that went up as high as 43% in women who were 19 to 22 years of age. On top of this increase in use, the use was also concentrated more towards the first trimester of pregnancy because that's when typically these nausea, vomiting, morning sickness symptoms are more severe. But that's also when a bulk of fetal development occurs. So what consequences did the researchers find to be correlated with the use of marijuana during pregnancy. Number one is an increase in preterm births, an overall lower birth rate, and an increased need for more intensive neonatal care after birth. Researchers can show a correlation between marijuana cannabis use during pregnancy and these potential outcomes, but they can't yet show a direct causal relationship that marijuana causes any of these outcomes. Women who use cannabis THC marijuana during pregnancy have higher incidences of these negative outcomes, but it is possible that a third variable is involved. Just to illustrate the point, I'm just making these up, but let's just say that a woman who uses or chooses to, to use cannabis THC marijuana to alleviate these symptoms during pregnancy, maybe they're adverse to modern medicine that may mitigate against some of these potential outcomes. So it's actually the fact that they're choosing not to be involved in modern medicine that might lead to a higher incident of some of these issues. Or perhaps another example might be that women who choose to use marijuana, maybe they have poorer diets than what is typical, a typical woman who is pregnant. And those that poor diet actually is what's leading to these negative outcomes. And it's also important to remember that anything that you put into your body is going to come with positives and it's going to come with negatives. And it's all about weighing the risk to reward ratio when determining what's best for you. As of now, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology is strongly recommending that pregnant women do not use cannabis THC marijuana during pregnancy. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. I will leave links to all the ways that we help people be best prepared to pass upcoming THC tests in the description box below. Like this video and also a big thanks to all the members of this channel. Until next time, everybody, stay safe.